Hello, I'm Nathaniel from Circus Core, and today I'm going to be showing y'all how Tensegrity Physics works. This here is a table I made out of cedar wood and resin, which I then electrocuted and filled in the burns with more resin, as you can see right over here. Uh, and it uses Tensegrity Physics. Uh, we bring this to a lot of shows, and a lot of people are flabbergasted. A lot of people think we're pulling their leg. There's some sort of trick going on, some sort of magic trick. It's illusion. Um, other people think these chains here are welded, uh, but if they were welded, I wouldn't be able to do this. So what's holding this up is called Tensegrity Physics, and it's a surprisingly simple concept once you really understand what's going on. So to build up that better understanding, I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart, and we can build it back together step by step. Let's jump ahead. Okay, so we've got it all taken apart. Uh, you can see I still have this one chain left in here. This is the main load-bearing one. <clears throat> it's actually physically attached to the wood, so there's no way for me to undo that. But that's perfect because building up an understanding of how this works will start with understanding this as the load-bearing one. Uh, these other four chains I have undone are just support chains. So we'll go ahead and uh, walk through how, how that all works. So if this is the only chain, it behaves exactly like you'd expect. It's not really a table. You have to hold this top up. It's wanting to fall any which way. Uh, pretty intuitive. It just has this axis point in the middle where the chain leads up to. Uh, it's just an anchor point. Uh, and it, of course, with the one anchor point, it's not stable. So this chain, what it does is it limits the number of directions the table can fall. And by the time you get all four chains attached, that number is reduced all the way to zero, so it will no longer fall. So you see, I've got this one chain attached, and it stops it from falling in the direction opposite. Because if, it, if it's trying to fall this way, this side is trying to lift up to get over. So this chain keeps it from lifting up, and therefore from going in this direction at all. However, these other three directions, it's still free to go, because it only has that one chain. So we add that second chain, And the chains always stop it from going in the direction directly opposite of them. So it now can no longer go that way or that way. So this entire direction, I can push on it. It's very stable. It's not gonna fall over that way, but it can still fall over this way where the only two chains are. So if we add that third chain, Now it's only got one direction left it can fall. Now a lot of you, from your initial guess, you might think it might be able to fall this way because there's no leg that way from our understanding of basic tables, right? Uh, but with Tensegrity Physics, uh, these are not your normal legs that support a table under their compression, but they support a table through their tension. So it can't fall in the direction opposite of the open chain. So it can't, it can fall this way, but it cannot fall any of the other directions where these chains stop it from falling. So any of these three directions, completely stable, but it can still fall this way. So if we add this last chain, we rob it of its one last egress. So now it's trapped. It wants to fall, but it's in a constant state of being held up by these chains, prevented from falling. As you can see, it's not quite a table yet. It's a little lopsided, which is why we have these turnbuckles. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those up, and uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and fast forward through that. Okay, I've got it all tightened down. As you can see, these are a lot more taut. There's not nearly as much slack, uh, but we still have that free play, which I really like, uh, because whenever we have a guest over, they don't always immediately notice what's going on down here, or maybe they think the chains are just welded, but the moment they set their cup down on it and they feel that action, they begin to grasp an understanding that all is not what it seems with this table. And they get a closer look and it takes them a minute to really understand what's going on. Oftentimes I have to explain. It took me a while to understand it my first time as well. Uh, but once we get it to this point, it's actually a surprisingly stable table. It can take up to 150 pounds of weight. Uh, even on the corners, it's not going to fall over. The wood would snap in half before the chains would go. So this one is a very stable end table. And that free play really always wows the guests anytime they come over and they set their drink down, set their plate down. 
Um, so yeah, if you like this video, if you learned something from it, be sure to like and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. We've got a lot more videos coming down the pipeline. Uh, and feel free to use these concepts in your own builds. Uh, these turnbuckles, you can get them pretty cheap. And the chains, you can get those pretty cheap. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.